I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Game Grumps. For those who don't recall, we cut guilt out of a girl in the form of parasites. We don't know either. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know much. It was mentioned in my father's research. When did your father come across something like guilt? <laughs> when he had me. Oh. <laughs> Way to bring oh, it down, Angie. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I just have a terrible past. Give me some time to examine the situation. Shut up for a minute. Until then, <laughs> yeah. don't mention guilt to anyone, understand? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like when I let my friend have the fall for the car accident? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is guilt? Uh, it's a thing when you do yeah, something yeah, and yeah, you, you feel bad about doing anything. the thing. Caduceus! Oh. Oh. Are we talking about Maynard James Keenan's wine collection? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give me some props for yeah, that was, obscure that was, reference. It was good. I got it. <laughs> okay. We love you, Tool. Oh, I'm here. Wait. Oh, please? Come in. <laughs> Never mind, I didn't realize it was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please, cat. <laughs> 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 Pardon me, but why was I called to your office? Why do oh, why don't you have a look at this examination report first? Was who who? Linda Reed. Uh, what do these hand headings mean? I don't recognize them. Positive chiral reaction? I believe it's chiral. Positive spectral analysis G1R? Those tests are beyond our capabilities, so we enlisted the help from an outside organization. PETA. <laughs> In the last few years, a bizarre disease with varying symptoms has been reported. In several isolated cases. Sorry, that was a run-on sentence. <laughs> the, two th the two things they had in common? Each victim's body turned against itself, and they all died. Because of that, we believe each subject was infected with guilt! Gangliated eutrophin immunolatency toxin. Oh yeah, sure. Wow. Totally. I can't believe I got that right on the first fucking just... Wow. Alright. I'm sure they came up with that before and then we're like, you know what? That spells guilt! Oh, wow. Yeah. Then you think Reed's illness was... Exactly. <laughs> then Reed's guilt was... <laughs> <laughs> Did I change my diaper? Could you change my diaper? This tie is a clip-on. <laughs> I, I might, I might poop a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you're able to treat her without the proper resources. Like cranberries. I love cranberries. <laughs> it was a difficult operation, <laughs> but I wanted to save her. Well, giant cranberry, that decision may have changed your life. The organization we mentioned before has requested you join them. What? Why me? Your healing touch ability allowed you to successfully cure a guilt victim. <laughs> what organization is this? The International Cranberry Association <laughs> of America. I ca- I ca- They're an arm of the World Health Organization that specializes in exterminating intractable diseases that threaten mankind. They're called Caduceus. Cranberries? <laughs> Cranberry douches? <laughs> ah, old ice cream truck used to carry that flavor. Nineteen <laughs> sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing them listed in essays on cancer and AIDS treatments. Aren't they the ones who eradicated the TFTA influenza last year? It's pronounced Tufta. <laughs> Caduceus wants me. What are you going to do, Derek? Yes. Well, You've been offered a chance to work at the forefront of modern medicine. Okay, go ahead and interrupt me. Well, I mean, it's an honor, but it's all so sudden. I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, it changed my whole life. You don't need to decide right away. Mmm, now. <laughs> Just, Just remember, remember that this is a choice, not an order. A choice you should say yes to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only reason I'm telling you is because an old friend asked me to. He's even older than me. He's a tree. <laughs> Say hello. It's like a stuffed cat. <laughs> this is Mr. Fluffy Bottoms. 
He asked me to ask you if you have any cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm against you joining Caduceus. I don't want you hogging all the cranberries. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Well, what? Why? I just told you. <laughs> I don't think a research laboratory is the right environment for you. Didn't you say you wanted to help patients face to face? That's true. Ass to ass? <laughs> you should probably see this as well. <laughs> it's a stuck dog. <laughs> yeah. This is Tinker Bottoms. <laughs> a letter. Yes. <laughs> C! <laughs> for cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Death is denied to those who seek it, should though it be their destiny. They search for it like treasure, but the modern age conceals it. What's this supposed to mean? It arrived shortly after Linda Reed was hospitalized. Inside a fortune cookie. <laughs> it's my granddaughter's creative writing class. <laughs> She's six. She writes a lot of emo poetry, whatever that is. You don't know who sent it. Supposedly these letters arrive shortly before guilt does. Uh... That means guilt doesn't occur naturally. No. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, I mean, Which means it could be some kind of man-made virus. It doesn't mean anything. The World Health Organization is considering a terrorist activity. What? What? So, I agree. This game is going off the rails. Someone's creating guilt and releasing it into society. We don't have any leads as to who or why. Almost as if it meant it's meant to confuse us. The UN even created a new term to describe it. Stupid terrorism. <laughs> Dumbass expository <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Running out of ideas at the writing table. Or Deb. <laughs> Caduceus is anticipating a large guilt outbreak. And they need skilled doctors to be ready for it. Hopefully now you see the stakes involved in this! Oh, stakes! <laughs> <laughs> what a little cranberry sausage! <laughs> Think it over! <laughs> Don't make your decision lightly, Thanksgiving's right around the corner! <laughs> <laughs> the burger is sometimes great too, but... Oh no, man! I don't know! The decision is yours! <laughs> Holy crap, this fucking game. For the uh, greater good. For the greater good. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna miss old guy. Yeah, me too. I really like him. <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. Hope Hospital, room 207. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> yeah. Do it. Thank you so much, doctor. <laughs> it hurts so badly. I thought I was a goner. Well, appendicitis is a fairly common condition, but congratulations on your recovery, Mr. Sassano. <laughs> if my wife gets sick, I'll make sure you're the one operating on her. I'll just watch. Ha ha ha. That barely qualifies as a joke. <laughs> hey, well, it would probably be... Oh, it would probably be better if she didn't get sick at all. No <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> Just like the fingers at him and shit. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Talking with the patients is one of my favorite parts of the job. <laughs> you. Ah, this guy. This guy. He's like seven miles down the road. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Could I really leave that behind? Derek. <laughs> Sorry, it's always really long. We'll be starting the operation briefing soon. Okay. <laughs> I mean, could've just gone right into it. Eliza Chalk. Ooh, nice. Chalk A. Mm, a Chalk A. A mitral prolapse. Oh, that's my favorite kind of and prolapse. And regurgitation. Oh, that's my favorite kind of regurgitation. Today we'll be operating on Eliza Chalk, oh, who's been in our pediatric shark. ward. She's a very young child with a valve. No shit! I'm supposed to be telling you stuff. It was a tough decision, but her parents finally decided to go ahead with the procedure. Ah uh, shit, I unplugged the nunchuck. Oh, hang in there. I mean, I unplugged my nurse the, wire. There's only one main objective for this operation. Have Say fun! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to give her a good review on Yelp. <laughs> 
replace a valve in her heart with a synthetic one. Oh, Holy okay. crap. Oh, that's actually more serious than I thought. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Next time on Game Grumps, I'll do that. Oh, all right. Wait. Well, we could get to the operation, right? Next time on Game Grumps. I need to take a break. I mean, the patient's dying on the table. I gotta get, like, a Pepsi in me. <laughs> take five. <laughs> Have fun. Hey, this is only one objective for this mission. <laughs> Rock the fuck on. <laughs>